Right to the body there from Tierfak. Moving those feet across the canvas. Well, John, I'm just going for a little bit of a walk there. I think he knows he's got this one in the bag. Standing room only over on that far side. Good to see a lot of teams Good sticking time. around. Plenty of teams staying, actually, even though they don't have anyone to support in these finals yesterday and today. Here, fact, pursuing sure. Olajonov right yeah, to the very end there. And the bell goes. Good fight. Olajonov is going to take it on my card. I'd have given it to him 29-28. No, There's some good shots in that opening round. The judges, I'm pretty sure, are going to go for 27 right across no, the board in favour of the Uzbek fighter, which will give them their sixth gold medal and takes them just above Russia in that gold medal table. Uh, Muller Jonov has spent a long time in the shadow of Akadir Jalolov. And on the inside again, there, there's Martin 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 just a little bit too close there at the card here. Interestingly, in this third round, he seems to be making an effort to get right on top of this Martov, but he doesn't really have room to get his three rounds to nil with all and get too much done. He's trying to bring the heat judges, which is absolutely the right goal medal to do as back as that. But he's just got to give himself a touch more space. Липучка, что это стегнулось? 45 seconds remaining in this opening final here in Sofia. Long left hand there from Abdekar. It didn't miss by much, but then standing a little bit tall and square, caught a left hand from Smartov, and then just gives him one on the back of the head. Ну это не специально, это потому что локти подлиннее, видимо. Нырнул так под руку и случайно опустил на товарища, так сказать. Это случайность. Команда, слушаем, парни, команда. Хороший бой, молодцы, близкие. Хотелось бы, конечно, чуть-чуть почище, поменьше клинча. Да, я думаю, что забрал. Неплохой бой показал тогда. Не очень опытный, но очень опытный. Как я сказал, он имел успех. Он не был только один-два трафика. Но я не думаю, что он сделал достаточно, чтобы выиграть этот раунд. Точнее, конечно, он убил, мне кажется. Единогласно. Красавчик, брат. Молодец. Заслуженно. Края может да се случат много неща, но според мене започва да налага своята воля Пазарбай и нищо чудно, ако на него му дадат края на краищата победата. До сега нещата изглезаха равностойни. Да, наистина, с ударите, които имаха по-разтърсващ ефект, беше Турсунов, но това не означаваше много. Виждате, че и Базарбай може да удра силно. Една чудесна атака за злев десен прав в главата.
не се съмнявах, че ще бъде така победител е а, Турсунов, а, който имаше по-ефектните удари. Да, наистина е един силен рун, точно така. Again closed in, he's stuck to his task here, Javier Diaz, and as I say, a bit like the first fight, it's not like he hasn't had success at times, he's landed some shots, but he has been outdone here as we head into the final minutes of this men's featherweight final, nice left hand there, three punch combination, two to the body, then one up top to the head from Kolokov. Pakistan with that gold medal for Hassan Boyd's Martov in our opening fight at flyweight and they're going to get another one here. And I'd be extremely surprised if that's not the case. There goes the final battle, nod of the head there from Diaz, he knows. Kolokov knows as well, big grin on his face as he heads back towards his corner. And smiles as well from the, from the coaching staff. It's a conveyor belt of talent that's brought through in Uzbekistan, it really is. They just seem to produce fighter after fighter after fighter, regenerating with every Olympic cycle every few years. Now, for the winner, by split decision, hit blue! <laughs> so Koloko gets it by split decision there. And one judge there, the Ukrainian judge, going 3-0 in favour of Javier Diaz. Which is a strange card. That's a strange card. The other four finding in, in favour of Kolokov. I would have gone 3-0 Kolokov myself. The second round was probably the closest of the three. 